Hi, this is Grace Taylor Siegel. Welcome to the video phase of my 24 hour, 24 day image creation marathon that I'm holding to kick off my Instagraphics business. Uh, I just want to thank you for being here. That first 24 hour part of the marathon was a little bit wild, but uh, I did get all the images up and I'm really thrilled about the way that uh, people have been responding. So uh, I'm just thrilled that you're here and let's go. Let's talk a little bit about the first app that I used, which is called Word Swag. And uh, if you don't know what Word Swag is, it's a, an app that allows you to superimpose text on top of a background. And I, I'm not alone in, in loving Word Swag. Uh, so many people do, most prominently Sue B. Zimmerman, that Instagram gal. Uh, I've heard her say many times that it's her favorite app, so much so that when she gave her course in, in San Francisco at Creative Live, she had the founder of the company, Ben Wong, come and do a presentation. I was lucky enough to be there and meet him. And he's a brilliant guy, and this app just keeps improving. And I'll talk a little bit about the new features today. Anyway, uh, this is the first image that I posted. And one of the things that I love most about Word Swag is that it can be a one-stop shop, meaning that if you don't have a great photo photographic library and you don't have uh, great stock shots or anything like that, you can create images in WordSwag for quite some time because it has many backgrounds and fonts for you to use that are built right into it. And uh, actually the image that I ended up using was one with the logo of my business on it and it's very exciting. You can do this right in WordSwag now and I'll show you how that works. So let's take a look at it. Now, when you, when you open Word Swag, it does this cute little presentation. So it kind of cheers me up there. It sort of says, welcome, welcome to Word Swag. Um, and you can take a picture directly from the app, which is the camera icon, or you can go into your photographs and, or, or actually where it first takes you is into this area where it has different backgrounds and photographs that are built in for you to use, as I was saying. And the camera roll is right up there on the right if you wanted to go into your photographs. So just taking a little look here, all kinds of backgrounds, photographs, uh, abstracts, you name it, solid colors. You really have such a lot to choose from. Look how great those photos are. But let's go to my pretty pink sparkly image. And it's that simple. This copy, this dummy copy is going to come up and you're gonna double tap it. And that takes you into the area where you either type out or you can copy and paste in this box here on the right, on the top right, or if you are just sort of, you know, brain dead, <laughs> don't, can't think of anything yourself. There are wonderful quotes, some better than others, of course, but you can find some great things in here. And there's mine that I chose, Dig Deep. So let's select that and it's gonna come right there. Now, I, that's fine. Uh, this particular style and look if you go through these numbers at the bottom it's going to switch things around a little bit oh let's roll the dice now if you roll the dice it, it it'll do a few things and the way that you make it larger is you just spread out with your thumb and your forefinger you can turn it you can turn it back and you can make it smaller you can make it really tiny if you want to but just squeezing it together Okay, and it gives you some lines so that you can keep things straight if you want to. You can see the center. If you can see that little, those light little dotted lines there, they can, it shows you where your center is so you can center things if you want to. All right, I don't want that style. Maybe, I think I use something like that. So I'm gonna go through and see what they're 
what they're offering. I think maybe it's this one. Good enough. I like it a little, a little off center there. All right, so this is it. We're done. This is my image and I'm going to press done. Now the thing that it does at this point that is different, that is an enhancement. So you just close this and you can see it was saved to the camera roll. It does it automatically. Not every app does that. So you're going to close this. Now you could share it at this point. It's already saved to your camera roll. So if you want to use an app or something to share to a lot of different places, then go there and use that instead. But you can share directly from here. But look right here more. Add logo is uh, what I want to do. So we're going to go there in a second. Uh, but re-swagging, I just want to quickly touch on that. I'm not going to go there because I, I want to do this uh, ad logo, but re-swagging is it's going to take you back to that image, in this case that said dig deep, and let's say I wanted to uh, add my name onto it or I wanted to put some sort of additional text on it it would allow me to do that at that point. So that's just another option for you. But I want to add my logo, which is an image. And so I'm going to go in here. And I don't think that's my logo, but there's a better one that's cropped a little tighter. Looks better. And ideally, you wouldn't have a white background. And I have one that doesn't have a white background, but. This one is handy right now. And if you don't have a transparent background, you can sort of use the transparency on the entire image to just sort of fade it out so that your image shows uh, of your logo, but it's not just marring the beauty of the image that you've just created. So. There you have it, that's, that's the first image in WordSwag. And I want to just real quickly show you how I created the second image. I didn't do two images for every app, but I do love this app so much. And I had an inspiration when I was trying to decide, you know, I was going through all my photos, trying to decide what I was going to use for, for all of the different apps. I My little granddaughter, Coco, Here's her precious little face right there. She loves Wendy's and she came over for a sleepover and uh, just insisted that we go there. I tried to talk her into something else. And she was as happy as a clam. As you can see, that's actually a photo from that day. Uh, but I got a, a hamburger and it was, it was the worst hamburger I'd ever had in my life. So I saw this and I thought, wow, I can put these two together and I can tell a story. And actually I did this in a different app. You could do this in WordSwag now. At the end, instead of the logo, you could take this photo. But when I created this, I didn't know that WordSwag did that. So you're always going to square crop it. This app is created for Instagram, but of course you can use the images anywhere that you want. Um, I'm going to double tap this. And what I had put was um, worst hamburger ever. Thanks, Coco. Oops. And another thing I want to mention is I want the line breaks to be just like this. Well, WordSwag does it the way it thinks best unless you take this little lever and move it over to the left. Now it's going to respect my wishes. Yeah, that's way too big and I don't want it slanted, but it kind of, it always takes, if you're just starting over again and not reopening the app, it's always going to take from what you just used. I want something, so I kind of, I'm going to turn it black. I want something sort of small, but readable. This might work. Actually, I'm going to I'm 
Nope. You kind of see how the process works. It's a little bit of trial and error. Mm. I'm going to go with this. It's cute. A little hard to read, but you get the idea. Alrighty, so done with that. And Ashley, I'm going to show you how to re-swag because I added her name. I added a little name with her name. Alrighty, so that is word swag. Now, if you have any questions or you know you're not quite sure how it works, or you get it on the App Store, it's a dollar ninety nine. I believe it has in app purchases, and it maybe some of the fonts uh, are not included in the basic app that you buy, but you do get a lot of you know to work with in the basic app and at four o'clock every day I will be in my Facebook group it's called the 24 hour 24 day image creation marathon and uh, that's a mouthful you can go to my website instagraphics.biz and there is a page there that is called marathon and you can go on the page and um all the details are there, including all of the images. And as I create the tutorials, I'll have links to all the tutorials for all of the apps. Uh, you can also sign up for my list of my top six favorite apps, all of which are, uh, I give tutorials on all of them in this 24 day period. And you can sign up for reminders every day about the the tutorials and it'll tell you you know what apps I'm gonna review so thank you so much for being here this is this has been fun and again if you have any questions let me know so have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow